Hey everybody, it's Gamer Rocky. We're back with Alan Wake. Last part, we found out the kidnapper was not really holding on to Alice after all, and then we started a new chapter. Where we woke up in this mental hospital type Good cottage. Not overreacting or anything. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you know who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. The doc's got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get too rowdy. I'll do that, Birch. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? The typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Thank you. They really want me to write, which is what the kidnapper wanted, which is what Barbara wants, which makes sense that they're all in cahoots. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Yeah, it's manipulating people to make me write the story. Ah, oh. jerks. Wait, where's my O? Can I start this generator now? No? Oh, I don't have the key, that's right. Okay, never mind. I guess I'll go in here and do something. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Everybody calm down. Put that down. Bert, I need help. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm going to go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. What's going on over Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Okay, that's... Hmm. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Sinclair looked Whoa. bad. Well, that wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. Uh, if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the, the office with Sinclair. The stage is all yours, Tom. Seize your I destiny. had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. Come out and face the oh music, Oh, God. Merch. They it's hit that lady with a, with a real hand. Oh, dude. Okay, maybe they're, they're a little nuts. Maybe you could come Just out and maybe. be our wrinkled <laughs> adult diapered asses, Bert. Since you're so tough, Bert. Uh, what was that? The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. He was in cahoots with the kidnap. Oh my god, it makes all sense now. It all makes sense. Save Barry. Is that how you want to play it? Really? Okay, that's how we'll play it. It'll be hard, boy. Barry? Ow, about time. Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me to- Oops. Cut him off. <laughs> These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Oh, 
Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Where'd you get that gun? Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Harvey, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Ooh. <laughs> he smiled. Heck yes. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Hmm. The dark presence would be on me in a moment. I had to find a way out. I need a flashlight. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, don't go in there. Hurry up there, buddy. Darkness is coming! Um, um, no, 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 no. No, 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 no! What am I, I needed what? light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Oh, the generator! Go, go, go! Oh my god. There's levitating objects everywhere. Go, 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 go! Oh, it's such a small area. And takes a lot to do. That's right, burn! Objects burn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, get through here now. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Whoa, bookshelf. Watch it there. Oh, God. Flare. Giving me almost not. Oh no! I better take out those bears. Oh thank God. Um. Hey, I can turn the TV on. What the? That one scene was from The Shining. I think. <laughs> uh, Japanese racing Mustang Drift. Verizon commercial? Oh my god. Honestly? Okay. Da, 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 da. Get me out of here. How do I go? Oh, I gotta wait for that to smash, probably. Thank you. Um, again, please. Thank you. Mr. Sphere? Ow, you burn. Get me the heck out of here. Owie! Oh my god. How'd you get out there? Barry? Oh my god, look at all these. Um. Hello? We gotta get going. I'm coming, I'm coming. I, I, I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Hedge Barry, maze? I don't have a light. Take this, Al! 
Holy bulls! No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I... Sorry. Get me out of here! Whoa! Gate of death? I don't think so. Get me out! <laughs> uh, give me the health! That house looks crazy, man. It's steaming. Oh my god. So glad I have a flashlight though. <laughs> it's not a heavy duty either. Dang it. Alright, Hedge Maze, bring it on. This is so much like The Shining, it's not even funny. Okay. Where are you? Daddy wants a word with you. Luckily, we won't freeze to death, like Jack Nicholson. Whoa! Okay, that's not fair. Whoa! Good God. Don't trust I I Emil. He was the assistant to Thomas Zane. What's wrong with Emil? Emil. Emil. It's probably Emil. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. <laughs> Sweet. I hope we get to watch their concert, freaking Anderson Brothers. Batteries, revolver ammo, all right, good. Oh, great. Thanks for the heads up there, Barry. Hey. Oh, you guys, well, I don't think so. Even a freaking big dude? With a shovel? Oops, that he burned. Oh my god! Dude, you're right in my face! Uh. Holy moly! That was just cruel. <laughs> Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. Hmm. Interesting. Oh man, I'm out of flares too. Oh boy. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. Oh, checkpoint. Thank you. <laughs> oh no! Birds! Ow. I don't need revolver ammo, I need a flare gun. We're not through the hedge maze yet? You get two barrels in the morning, and then you'll be nice and cold. That must be Hartman. Hey Hartman, I'm going to kill you again. Look like Harmon. <laughs> He's going nuts, whoever he is. Oh, you know who that is? Is the uh, the orderly. God. Birds. God. Oh, 
miss, dude. Oh, thank you. Stupid birds. Yeah, that's right. Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't know why I'm shooting. Whoops. Oh my god. There better be a freaking flare gun in here. Nope. God dang birds! Yeah. Killed their flock. Oh, there. Little group. Good God. This is crazy. Um. Oh, thank God. Oh, goodness. Barry, bring the car. <laughs> Can he just bring the car around? That would be nice. Checkpoint, check, checkpoint, checkpoint. Shotgun. Manuscript page, some other stuff. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. What? Is Mott the orderly? He's dead now. Okay, um... This is actually a pretty good stopping point, I think. So next time we're gonna rendezvous with Barry and hopefully not get raped by these birds. <laughs> so yeah, see you guys next time.